Hello everyone and welcome to my storytelling of this amazing period of human history named Sengoku Jidai. A period of war and intrigue, a story of famous samurai warriors and also a period of meritocracy where the peasant can become a ruler and the ruler a peasant. Stay with me on this long journey ahead and enjoy. In 1464, medieval Japan is ruled by Ashikaga Yoshimasa, the eighth leader of the Ashikaga Shogun, that was established more than 100 years earlier. The Onin conflict began as a controversy over who would succeed the Shogun Yoshimasa. In 1464, Yoshimasa had no heir, so he persuaded his younger brother, Ashikaga Yoshimi, to abandon the life of a monk and become his heir. In 1465, something unexpected happened. Hino Tomiko, Yoshimasa's wife, gave birth to a son, Yoshihisa. Immediately, Tomiko expressed her desire that her son should be the next shogun and not Yoshimi. The infant, Yoshihisa, caused the friction between Yoshimi and Hino Tomiko. Hino Tomiko Hino Tomiko was born into a Hino family, a powerful family whose women become consorts to many previous shoguns. Tomiko sought political and military support to rule as a regent from Yamana Susan, leader of the Yamana clan. In contrast to Tomiko and Yamana, Yoshimi had the support of the Hosokawa Katsumoto, leader of the Hosokawa clan. This dispute for succession started the Onin War and led to the beginning of the Sengoku period. Hosokawa had always worked closely with the shogun's brother, Ashikaga Yoshimi, and supported his claim to the shogunate. Yamana took this as an opportunity to oppose the Hosokawa quarter, supporting the child as the heir for the shogunate. And so, the war broke out in the city of Kyoto. Both sides had roughly 80,000 troops each, and were immediately set to march on Kyoto. The fighting started in March when a Hosokawa mansion was burned. Then, in May 1467, a Yamana mansion was also attacked. In July, Yoshimasa appointed Hosokawa Katsumoto as the commanding general in an attempt to punish the rebel Yamana. Heavy fighting continued through July and several hundred large buildings were destroyed. Hosokawa was soon cornered in the northeast portion of Kyoto, around his mansion, while Yamana controlled the south and the west. Yamana received 20,000 reinforcements under the Ochi Masahiro in September while Hosokawa received Akamatsu troops as reinforcements. On 1st of November, Yamana was able to capture the Shokokuji after bribing a monk. Hosokawa attempted an attack on New Year's Day and then again in April, but for the most part the two armies remained on stalemate. A central trench 10 feet deep and 20 feet wide separated the two armies. Several monasteries were burned, including the Tenryuji. Hosokawa Katsumoto convinced the emperor Gotsuchi Mikado to join his side and denounced Yamana clan as rebels. Though with great effort, Yamana succeeded to retain his numbers after the denounce. Both Yamana Sozen and Hosokawa Katsumoto died in 1473, and even then the war continued on, with neither side able to figure out how to end it. However, eventually, the Yamana clan lost heart, 
was the label of Rebel was at last having some effect. Ohuchi Masahiro, one of the Yamana's generals, eventually burned down his section of Kyoto and left the area on 17 December 1477. By 1477, 10 years after the fighting had begun, Kyoto was nothing more than a place for mobs to loot and move in to take what was left. Neither the Yamana clan nor the Hosokawa clan had achieved its aims, other than whittle down the numbers of the opposite clan. No part of Japan escaped the violence. Although the battles in Kyoto had been abandoned, the war had spread to the rest of Japan. After the Onin War, the Ashikaga shogunate completely fell apart. The Hosokawa family was in charge and the Ashikaga shoguns became their puppets. The Hosokawa family controlled the shogunate until 1558 when they were betrayed by a vassal family, the Miyoshi. The powerful Ouchi were also betrayed by a vassal, Mori Motonari. In 1551. And so the Warring Kingdom period starts. In the next episode, we will see the rise of who would come to be known as the Iko Iki. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode.